finally, the most electrifying man on radio has returned to 1057 The Fan. Travis Thomas Show coming at you in full effect. Oh, I'm fired up today. I'm taking calls. Ooh. I've been watching TV, listening to radio, reading papers. What the hell has happened to sports? What is going on? It is the best of times and it is the worst of times. Let me tell you why. I'm kind of like Johnny Manziel on the mic for radio. I come in and I'm just winging it. You know, I'm just drawing plays in the dirt. Producer Dan, you run over there, cut across at that oak tree, make a hook, and I hit you with the pass. I'm not running structured plays all the time. And this is one of those days. If you have a debate, if you have like an instant, we both disagree, then you don't really have a face to the franchise, right? When Cal Ripken was on the Orioles, did anyone say Mike Bordick is the face of the O's? No. When Ray Lewis was here, did anyone say, you know, Todd Heap is the face of the Ravens? Of course not. So, who's the face? Where's the beef? People ask me, why do you say you're the most electrifying man on radio? Well, aside from the obvious, I tell them because sports to their core, when you strip sports down to its absolute core, it's entertainment. It's all the things we love movies for. It's drama, comedy, at times horror. But to its core, it's entertainment. And you know what? LeBron lovers? I'm looking for a fight! You ever notice how in life, when things don't go your way, there's two different kinds of people. Some people take the punches, roll with it. No big thing. Ah, it's life, you know, going through some tough times. But, gotta take the ups and the downs all in stride. Then you have panic button people. Things are going great. They're on cloud nine. Things start going, you know, curveball-ish. They want to hit the panic button. I'm going into the mind of sports. What is it that separates an elite athlete like a Kobe, a LeBron, a Jordan, a Manning, to just your run-of-the-mill role player or even bottom-of-the-bench guy. Don't kid yourself. On the pro level, everyone's athletic, right? I mean, you can't even, you can't even make it to that level unless you are extraordinary talent-wise. So what's the difference between the great and the good? It's, it has to be mental, right? 